This is Agent 001 from Autospies.com in Portugal in a private garage inside the Estoril Raceway with my good friend Joe from BMW with this absolutely special and beautiful new package, the 335 IS. Joe, this is your baby. Tell us a little bit about the car, tell us what makes it special, and kind of take our readers through the differentiation exterior, and then we'll get inside and talk about what's new on the inside. Okay, great. The 335 IS already starts from a great basis. So starting uh, in March 2010, we started building the facelift and 3 Series coupe and convertible. So that's the basis for the car. The car builds upon the base 335i with more aggressive, sportier, outside uh, design elements. One of the most prominent ones you'll see here is these all-black, high-gloss kidney grills. Very sporty, very aggressive design. That's the first time those black kidney grills have been on there. From BMW, from a factory, this is the first time we've ever produced black kidney grills. And they look awesome. Pretty special for us. Um, also, you see the uh, LED Corona rings, which is also new, not just for the 335 IS, that's also new on the facelift, and all models get this uh, new headlight design. And I notice here across the top, you have like this opaque lit glass that makes it look even more ominous. Yeah, we call that the brow. So we've got an LED source brow as well. You also see the more aggressive uh, uh, front fascia here, which is similar to what we have on the M Sport packages in the past, but with the added black kidney grills, we really have a more unique design on the front end of just the 335 IS. Now in the presentation for the car coming to the US, you can see there's fog lamps on this. In the coupe form, the fog lamps are going to disappear because of? Because of cooling. So you can see here we've already got some duct work in the middle. When we take out the fog lights for the production models on the coupe 335 IS, you'll see an additional duct um, on the side here as well. But if you're a fog light kind of guy like me, then you're going to want to buy the convertible because the convertible 335 IS will retain the fog lamps. Exactly. Excellent. Take me around to the back. Okay, well, we don't want to forget Oh, yeah, let's other. not forget that. That's one of sure. my favorite items on the 335 IS is the 18 inch wheel. It's uh, tuned in a ferric gray gloss. Um, it's also, the car also comes standard with sport tires, so 18 inch sport tires all around. And I noticed the badging here on the side. Yeah, you don't want to forget from the side, you've also got the 335 IF designation. Also underneath, uh, on the lower part of the car in the, in the middle, is the sculpted M Sport uh, package aero designed uh, side skirts. Gives it a more um, continuous look front to rear. More Are the mirrors different? Yeah, you don't want to forget that as well. So the mirrors have the black high gloss coating as well. So that's kind of a theme between the front grille, the mirrors, also the shadow line trim around the windows as well. And I'm going to hold my excitement as I see that gorgeous red interior. We're going to get to that in just a bit. If I can have the patience to go on the back just and show some of the new things here. Contain yourself for a moment. So here again we've got LED treatment on the rear as well. So that's standard again on 335i models. Uh, we've got LED tubes. We've also got LED brake lights and LED turn signals as well. So another prominent feature on the rear are the black chrome tipped exhausts. So that's part of the sports exhaust system. And that exhaust sounds different that's than right. a normal 335. I heard that on the track is just fantastic. It, it does. It really is really tuned well. We've got the rear diffuser there that's also aerodynamically tuned to improve airflow. And of course the badging 335 IS because yeah, you've got to show it off, right Joe? Yeah. Excellent. So We've taken a walk around here on the exterior of the car. We're going to take a look on the inside now. So we had a great look at the outside of the car, but inside it's even as special, if not more special. Tell us a little bit about what's different inside the new 335 IS. I can see one thing. Look at that beautiful set of gauges. Yeah, it really catches your eye there. We've got the 335 IS designation in there. So it adds a lot of differentiation between that and the standard car. Well, basically the car starts from the M Sport package level already. So you've already got the trims from the door sills, the gear shift lever, the M Sport steering wheel with paddles, uh, if you get the DCT options, and also the dark aluminum trim. And I love this pattern on here. Look at that pattern inside the, uh, the aluminum. You can really feel it with your hand. And of course that gorgeous badge there. So your passenger doesn't forget what kind of car you're in right there, 335 IS. So building on that, we've got the, the aluminum glacier trim all around. We've got the M short shift gear lever. Wheel looks a little different. Yep, that's the M sport steering wheel as well. And don't forget if you can pan down there and look at those pedals. Those yes. Gorgeous steel trimmed pedals. 
Ooh, are also nice. another nice feature. Now there's two transmissions, right? We've got the six-speed manual here, but I noticed in the performance numbers your new automatic is actually a little faster, zero to 60. Tell us a little bit about that. Yeah, that's a seven-speed dual-clutch transmission um, that we're using in some of our other performance models as well. So zero to 60 in that version is five seconds flat. Excellent. Also, navigation changes. We have upgraded the navigation. We did that in model year 2010, so it gets the new iDrive system with hard disk storage, able to store um, the navigation information and also all your music. It also comes with the new iDrive controller there with the direct select buttons, giving you uh, direct access to navigation, telephone, radio. All your favorites are much easier to access now. I noticed looks in the uh, AC and heating here, you've done some different uh, changes with the buttons, and I noticed a little, looks like a sensor there. Yep, there's also some heating and cooling elements sensors uh, integrated within there. We've just cleaned up the look, so we've added some chrome enhancements to the dials, brought all of the buttons into one cluster just to clean it up a little bit. And so, you know, the, the question that AutoSpy's readers are going to be asking, you know, inside the comments are, what's, who is this car made for? I mean, you have the M3, you've got the 335. Tell, tell us who the customer is or who you think is going to buy this automobile. Well, as you're probably well aware, there's a huge segment of BMW enthusiasts who love to upgrade their cars. They're doing it right now with a 335i outside of the factory. And we think that if we can provide that kind of tuning within the factory, there's a number of people who are willing to upgrade their standard 335i. That's excellent. And now there's a price difference that uh, we're going to, it's going to be announced later today. Uh, there's, I would say, a significant difference between the price of this and an M3, and you're getting a lot of value because one of the things we didn't speak on was the efficiency of the engine. And in today's world, with the gas prices are, efficiency matters. There's certainly a number of BMW fans out there who might lean more towards efficiency versus pure raw performance that the M3 provides. The M3 is a phenomenal car. The 335i slots in nicely right in between the standard 335is and the, uh, sorry, the standard 335i and the M3, so the 335 IS is really occupying a great segment in the middle. And last but not least, uh, obviously people are sitting out there in the world of the social network and they're looking at the car, they're looking at pictures, they're gonna see this video. Tell them what the difference is when they drive this car. Kind of give us a feel of what it feels like on the track differently than other three series cars. Well, from the driver's seat, you'll immediately notice that there's more performance. We've got 20 more horsepower. We've got a lot more torque. And if you really step on it, we've got a special torque boost function that gives you 370 pound-feet of torque for seven seconds. So that immediately grabs your attention. Not only that, the sports exhaust system is very prominent. It's well-tuned, and people are going to notice that. It sounds really good. This is a really exciting day here in Portugal. I mean, we're here for the 5 Series introduction, but then they throw us this surprise and say, ooh, we're going to take you back to the track for one more day to look at this little beauty, the 335 IS. We're really excited. We think it's going to sell really well. Talk to your dealer. Make sure you go get all the info. Look at all the pictures on Auto Spies and video. And we're just excited to be here and uh, giving you the first look at it. This is Autospies.com. Remember, spy before you buy. So here we are on the cool down lap at the Storal Racetrack in Portugal in this lovely, fantabulous, beautiful, special edition 335 IS BMW. Uh, you're going to love this car. If you like the M3, this has got a lot of great advantages. You get more uh, fuel efficiency. It's extremely fast. It handles really well on the road here and on the track. Uh, if you like to take your car to the track, you're going to find that this is a really fun product. And uh, I think this is going to sell really well for them. And the interior looks so nice. I mean, the beautiful, you can see the aluminum texture here, the new navigation screen. Love the gauges with the gray background and the 335S badging, IS badging. And I'm driving in this beautiful red one. There's going to be six different colors. We've got the beautiful uh, two-tone. I love the saddle with the red or the saddle with the Le Mans blue or white. Um, just love that two-tone, kind of like the floating seats with the dark carpet. We're doing the, uh, the DSG transmission here, seven-speed, which has performed uh, really well. It actually gets better performance, uh, zero to 60, than the actual manual. So uh, they think they're going to sell a lot more of those than the manual, although it is offered for the purest. You want the manual. They do have the six-speed manual on this car, and you can definitely get that. But uh, 
just my initial driving impression. We've only got to drive uh, four laps, or actually three laps. Uh, two were actually uh, training laps with the drivers, and it's just a wonderful car to drive. The handling, you can really toss it nicely. Um, and I love the you know, special steering wheel, all the M uh, badging, and of course the fascia, the rear end, the tail lights. They've done just a marvelous job on this car. I mean, BMW has a great history with racing and these special editions. You know, we all remember the uh, IS model. The last version wasn't called the IS. It was actually the performance package. Uh, and the only thing missing on this car that I wish this had, and it kind of bothers me it doesn't, is on the old performance package car, they had the beautiful Air Alcantara Terra steering wheel as well as the Alcantara headliner so I wish they offered that I think that would be a, a nice addition to this to make it absolutely perfect but trust me when you drive this car when you get inside and your friend gets one or you get one you're gonna really enjoy it uh, just a purest beautiful you know racing street car best of all worlds and you don't have the uh, you know maximum uh, penalty and fuel for the M3 so this might be the solution for you, but then of course, you know, there's nothing wrong with a BMW M series, but in this day of, you know, high gas prices, this might be the perfect solution for a lot of people out there who want the performance, but they want to be able to still afford to drive it and be able to afford the gas along with it. It's a great venue here in uh, Portugal. We're getting a little rain. It was very slippery on the track. And here we are coming into the pit. Unfortunately, I have to get out of this beautiful ride and have to hand over the keys to some of the other uh, members of the media, which is not going to be a happy task for me, but it's really been fun here. They did a Le Mans start for us where you actually ran to the car. It was very exciting. Auto Spice.com.